This simulation is built to have students investigate some of the properties of projectile motion. You'll notice the projectile at the origin. You'll notice that we will have a tracking of the projectile's total speed, horizontal speed, and vertical speed on these speedometers. The elapsed time that the projectile is in the air will be at the top. Uh, we'll be able to adjust the starting height of the projectile in either 10 meter increments or 1 meter increments. We'll be able to change the angle at which the projectile is fired in either small increments or large increments. And we'll be able to adjust the starting speed of the projectile again in either large increments or smaller increments. We're also able to set the speed at zero if we wanted to investigate some things with um, free falling motion. We could do that from different heights. Um, we can set our angle at zero degrees and just fire the projectile horizontally from different heights. So there is a large number of different things that we can do with this um, program. Okay, students, once they have their uh, angle, height, and speed set up, we'll go and click on the fire button. The projectile will then land. Students are then required to estimate the landing location of the projectile as accurately as possible. And they may be asked to track the uh, elapsed time. Okay, if you want to do another trial, we just hit the return button. Projectile ret will return to its last height, angle, and speed. Students could then try a different speed. Fire the projectile. And again, they could watch how the X speed remain constant, the Y speed changes, and the total speed changes. They might notice that the elapsed time is the same as it was before. Even though we changed the horizontal speed, we did not change the actual time in the air. Again, the types of labs that we can do with this are numerous. We can plot um, range versus speed, range versus height. Again, changing one variable at a time. We could adjust angles and look at uh, time in the air, range, whatever we'd like to look at. One other thing students should notice is that if they fire the projectile at an angle, hopefully they will catch on or you could direct them to notice that the um, Y speed will drop down to zero when the projectile reaches its maximum height. Then they could see the speed increasing in the downward direction as the projectile returns to the earth. So this is the functionality of the program and numerous labs can be built off of this.